September 25th. And Pastor is saying to us, when God speaks in prophecy, our opening scripture comes from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 22 of the Message Bible. If what the prophet spoke in God's name doesn't happen, then obviously God wasn't behind it. The prophet made it up. Forget about him. When God gives a prophetic word, it will come to pass whether or not you believe it. Think about this. Jesus said to Simon Peter, Verily I say unto thee, that this night, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Matthew chapter 26, verse 34. Did Peter believe? No. In fact, he insisted, Even if I must die with you, I will not deny or disown you. Matthew chapter 26, verse 35, the Amplified Classic. But did the words of Jesus come to pass? Yes. Peter denied Jesus and disowned him. In fact, on a certain occasion, Peter cursed and swore that he didn't know Jesus. How about the story of Judas? When Jesus told his disciples one of them would betray him, Judas Iscariot didn't accept what Jesus said about him, neither was he happy about it. Then the Bible tells us in Luke chapter 22, verse 3, that an evil spirit entered into Judas Iscariot. When that happened, he walked out of where Jesus and the disciples were, went to the chief priest to conclude arrangement to betray Jesus. Look through the scriptures. You'll find several prophetic words to kings and prophecies to nations. They didn't have to believe those prophetic words, but the words came to pass nonetheless. However, when you believe the prophetic word, you'll be blessed. More so, when the word of prophecy concerns you for your benefit. For example, when Mary received the prophetic words about the birth of Jesus, she said, Be unto me according to thy word. Luke chapter 1 verse 38. Mary believed and gave birth to the Lord Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 2 verses 6 to 7. According to prophecy, the Bible says, And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Luke chapter 1 verse 45. When you believe, those words of blessings come to pass in your life. The difference, however, is that when God speaks prophetically about your nation, about your time, your course of life, whether or not you believe it, it's going to happen anyway. So, what you do is to learn the word, understand the word, find and take your place in that prophetic word, and you'll be victorious always. Please say this confession with me. I'm found and taken my place in Christ. I'm in dominion. The glory of God is revealed in and through me. I continually wax stronger and greater every day by the Spirit, victorious by the Word. Through me, the truth of the gospel is proclaimed and many receive salvation, healings, blessings and miracles today in Jesus name amen for further study did you read Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 first Timothy chapter 1 verse 18 and second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 20 for the one year Bible reading plan please read Ephesians chapter 2 verses 11 to 22 and Isaiah chapters 15 to 18 for the two year Bible reading plan please read John chapter 1 verses 1 to 13 and 2 Samuel chapters 23 to 24.